Hello everyone, ebomb113 here with another custom creation. This is my second variant of my light armored 6x6 truck. Um, did a video previously on one and I just did not care for the build of it. I built, I made a video just for, yeah, just to catalog that I made it, but um, went back, redesigned it a couple times actually. So um, I'm pretty satisfied with this variant. I might go back and change some things later, but um, so a lot of complaints with I've seen on YouTube at least and Mega Constructs like web pages is there's not really any enemies for the Call of Duty line. They always make like American themed soldiers and they don't really delve into other villains from the game, which I guess I understand that from a business perspective. You don't want to put like Russians or Germans in there to, you know, influence, you know, maybe those countries buying sets but that's a whole rant on its own so um i just made like a basic military truck um so i'll get to actually showing it instead of just sitting here and talking so it's a pretty beefy looking thing so it's definitely um russian influenced from the modern warfare games i think there's a few light armored cars you face um i don't know exactly what they're called uh, and then the call of duty wikis aren't all that great either so uh this is my take on it. It's just a beefy looking truck. Very well armored. Um, doesn't look like a big fat slow thing like the original one did. So uh, I think I didn't do too well on the doors. Um, I had some trouble with... I mean the doors still do open so you can get inside but uh, they just look kind of out of place. They don't seem to flow with it like I'd want it to. But for the time being I, I like it um, for the way it is. Then um, I had a really hard time with the window. Um, I just had a lot of space in here that I couldn't quite cover. So I just put a grate there just to simulate like an armored window of sorts. And then there's like a little bar on the side. Um, you can attach stuff to if need be. And there's lights on the front. Um, the only other gripe I would have is the miscolored um, armored windshield. But I might be able to go back and paint that. There's a... Um, I guess a reinforced grill, so it makes it easier to ram through stuff. It's the same on the other side. Um, door opens on this side too. I'll show you an interior view. I'm um, trying to put some shocks in there too, so make it a little more authentic. Um, it does roll pretty well actually. The other one didn't roll too well. In the back, um, got swinging doors. And a ramp that can come down so you have troop access and there's some troops in there but I'll show a overhead view so um, that worked out pretty nicely a lot better than I thought it would so that's pretty much the back and on the top there's um, a guy manning a minigun and, uh, and then um, this I just had some extra parts and thought it, I was going to make it the engine but I couldn't get it to fit um, not the way I built it up in the hood so um, it could be like a generator or a spare engine I don't know I'd like to believe it could be like a generator or something so you know, if they're on the move they can power their equipment um, just with this little generator on top but that's pretty much it from the top you got some headlights I tried to give it some tow winches on the front and a grill and lights so um, I'll go ahead and show you how to take it off so it's a little bit complicated process to take it <laughs> the roof off but since they're mostly displays, I probably won't be taking them off too much. But uh, so you got to open up everything pretty much. And these side panels, like the armored panels, they lift up. So just like that. Same thing with the other side. If I can get it here. And I just oh, another thing. You do have to move the guy on the top. So I'm going to do that. So it's not an easy process to take the roof off. But like I said, I mostly use these for display. So take that off, and this pops up a little bit. The sides pop off, pop off up front, and you lift it off. Here it is from the inside. So you got room for four guys. They're a little cramped in there. And you got some storage on the sides um, for guns or whatever. You got the driver, and then oh, I'm missing a seat. I have to go back and fix that. I'll probably go. Like I said, I'm not completely completely satisfied with this model um, it's a lot better than my last one that's for sure but uh, 
I'll probably go back and add a seat and maybe add like a console or something in through there. I might go back and redesign the doors. But as for this time being, I'm pretty satisfied with the build. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, that's pretty much it. It's just a light armored enemy vehicle pretty much. Um, pretty much to match the American Humvee or, you know, just gives you something to shoot at. So I really liked it. Took a lot of, a lot of pieces. Actually, yeah, you can see all my pieces over there. So uh, <laughs> that's the result of me building. I'm just using that, that sloppy, but I've been at this thing for weeks and the pilots just kind of started going together. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you all for watching and I guess I'll catch the next video.